back to another video. Today we will be um, going over my Connect car that I made. Um, I took apart the truck and then I made this cool SUV here, and I'll be showing it to you. So let's start off from the front and work our way back. So um, it's basically kind of like the front end of the the truck but just um, a little bit different and it's got a steering wheel right here steering wheel and then it's got the mirrors but they're not as long as the truck because this thing can still tow but it doesn't need big mirrors it can extend really far and this has a back seat, so you can put your kid right here. This is like a center armrest. It spins. Um, and it's also a support for the car. It helps stiffen it. And then we got the roof here. It's really big and complicated. It's got lots of supports and stuff like that in it. Now if we move over to the back, we have... The back of the car. Um, there's no motor in it because I took the motor out. And there's supposed to be a spare tire in the back right here. I'll have to go get that. Alright, let me show you the cool features that this car has. Let's start with the trunk. So this thing actually opens. Unlatch this. And unlatch that then if you look closely cool things will happen the hinges will fold up and it looks like this but this isn't it doesn't it goes even further up it goes to like a 90 degree angle so down here we have a little button right here now you press that button and what it's gonna do it's gonna raise the trunk you can see there's a little part right here where the button is right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, there's a big cable that runs all the way up into the door. And then, what you can do, you can make it go even higher if you put those thing, little tabs up. And it goes this high, and now you could like put some cool stuff in it. Now, we're going to put the motor in it. Um, I made it super duper easy to put the motor in. The motor goes right there. Let me get the motor situated here. So this is the motor assembly right there. Um, so what we're going to be doing, the motor is crooked. I need to fix that. Let me fix that. Oh, it's being annoying. Ah! The motor is kind of being a pain today. Okay, not the motor straight, we need to flip it over, and we need to put the gear on there. The gear is very important. So now, let's install the motor. So the motor goes back here. I don't know if you can see it, but see that little yellow piece right there? That has to go onto that white piece. So that's going to be hard to connect. Not get it connect, or it connects. Okay, so we need to get that little piece in there. Let me pause the video. Let me pause the video for a second, and I'll get that. Okay, so I got that piece connected, as you can see right there. Now we got a few other connections here that we need to do, like that connection and stuff like that. So. We need to move this thing, and we need to connect that there, connect that there, same with the other side, switch hands here, and then the motor is installed. So now let's, clo let's close the trunk, and I'm going to flip it over because I made a cool mechanism for this car. Let me close that trunk. There we go. So this is the trunk in the closed position. All you gotta do is you just fold in these little things right here and the trunk goes all the way down. 
Um, make sure the little holes are on like the little latch right there. So we got one latch here. Ah, oh, it's being annoying again. Sometimes connects are annoying. They don't cooperate with ya. Wait, I need to close the trunk all the way. Is it all the way closed? Yeah, it's all the way closed. It's just a little hard. So we need to close that to make sure it goes as tightly as possible. Uh, let me close the trunk. It's being okay. Um, it's it takes two hands to try to close the trunk, so that's why it was being annoying. So let me flip over the car, and I'll show you all the moving parts. There's a lot of gears and shafts and stuff like that. So, this is the cool mechanism right here. This mechanism turns on four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. So, we're going to slide these pins out so they don't make contact with the other pins. Right there. And we're going to turn on the motor. See, that wheel isn't spinning, but the back wheel is spinning. All the gears at work. Here's the motor. Then, if we slide... Ah, I need to turn it off first. So, if we slide this pin in, and... Where's the other pin that's on the other side? Then, look what it does. Four-wheel drive, so it's a kind of cool way to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. So how it works is when the pins are made contact, they push on each other and they turn. If they don't make contact, then they don't. Then this side does not turn. There it goes. There's the wheel. So let's turn it off. And let's get this thing to go. So let's go over here. Alright, so let's put it right over here. And let's turn it on. Okay, I believe this is four wheel drive. And right here it's going on the carpet. Yeah, you know, this is four wheel drive right here. That's four wheel drive, recommended for like carpet. And this is two-wheel drive. It's like, um, it's recommended for like hard floors, just like this. Good hard floors. So it goes. It's gone. It's gone pretty good. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's turn this off before it ramps into the wall. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.